Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So this video, I'm starting mid-process. So this was a, is a double deep hive, very strong. It had two honey supers on it right here. The bottom super, they're working on it good. The top, they're starting to work on it. So I had this swarm over here that I'm waiting on the sun to set. And I thought while I was doing that, so when the sun sets, I'll place that swarm so I thought while I was doing that, waiting, I would try and see where it came from. So the first hive I looked at, I thought, I'll look at this one. It's pretty strong. I'll look at it real quick. And sure enough, there's a lot of swarm cells in here. There's a couple of them that have been opened, so there should be virgin queens in here. And the original queen may still be in here. As many bees are in there, I don't know that this hive has swarmed yet or not, but uh, what I'm going to do is I've got these Apame nukes. I've got two of these. So I found there's there's several frames, several, there's four or five frames in here. Man, these bees are pissed. There's four or five frames in here that have swarm cells. I'm going to, I've got my divider here in the middle. I'm going to make two splits into this, three frames a piece and one frame will have a swarm cell on it. So I'm gonna figure out which frames I want and get them out of there. And I'm gonna set this over here on the stand so I don't set it back down on this box and run the risk of smashing any of those. Uh, and I did pull a couple apart, that always happens. So let me show you what I've got going on here. So you can see the top box there and the excluder, it was stuck and it fell off and. A lot of bees hit the ground there, but that was uh, not a good move. So here's all the bees on the bottom. And i show you these swarm cells here. Reveal! <laughs> there they are. So... These two right here have opened naturally. And those are the only two. Maybe, let's see, maybe, where's my finger? <laughs> maybe that one has, I'm not sure. That one's not capped yet. This one here looks like it could open. That one right there looks like it could open any second. So let's see what I'm looking at here. So here's a frame out on the edge. I'm gonna grab that one and probably, well, I don't know, one of these others, maybe this one right here, and then get a brood frame, and I need to shake some nurse bees in there first. But you don't wanna shake these frames that have these queen cells on them. So here's what the bottom looks like. So there's probably a cell right there I busted open. Actually, I think that's a viable cell that's still stuck in there. And that's interesting. I've never seen one like that that didn't bust apart. Or if I can get that out of there. Well, so we're going to pull the, the two frames we need plus uh, four more get six frames over here in this Apame hive. Let me get the lid off of it and get it ready. And I got six frames I brought with me to replace over here, which is gonna set this hive back. Uh, so they're gonna have a brood break with no queen laying and uh, I'm gonna pull a lot of brood out of there. So it's honey production is gonna go way down. So I could probably pull uh, one of those supers off. Let's get started on this thing. Here's my swarm over here. You probably saw it on a prior video. It's, uh, there are not many bees flying now. There's none left up in the tree where they were. They're pretty, pretty much settled. I wanna get all my field bees and move them over here. It's gonna go in this location number one right here, which that hive is cleaned out. It's laying worker hive and it's been combined over here on hive 16 right there you probably saw that in a prior video so four videos today <laughs> kind of busy ouch i got stung on the shoulder 
How did that happen? Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do this back here. So I'll move those super somewhere out of the way and get that Apame hive back there. Let's get a good view here. All right. Move these supers right here. Yeah, there's not a lot of honey in that yet. There's no way I could have lifted that. So I want frame 10 on the right hand. Actually, it's frame 9. Eight. So I want frames 9 and 4. So this is Apame Nuke. It's got feeders, two feeders. There's two in case you're running the divider, which I am. So these are my six frames I'm going to replace. Make sure my dividers are shut. So these three things are closed off. There was no communication between either side. So by doing two splits into here, that gives, doubles my odds of getting a mated queen from those queen cells. So let's get back over here, get our frames we want with the queen cells, and then we're going to transfer them over into this Apame hive. And I need to get some nurse bees in shake into here too to get the population up. And I want these closed or on vent. So I set those to vent so the bees uh, can't get out of there. I'm going to set the other side up the same way because I don't want any of these bees going back to the original hive and locking the entrance down. Okay, so we want high, uh, frames four and nine. Those have our queen cells on them. Oh, I see a virgin queen. We're going to catch her. A virgin queen just ran across that, that frame number two. <laughs> if I see her, I'm going to get her in the clip. And I'm going to keep her here so I know I got, got a good queen over here still. She didn't make it there. I see her down there. She's still in this frame too. Now I don't see her. Oh, there she is. She's out here on the corner. Boy, this clip has very little spring to it, but I got her. Okay. Here's our virgin queen. There she is. So, we'll hang on to her. Got her right there. So we know we've got us a queen in this main hive, at least one. So now I'm gonna get these uh, frames out of there that I want. So that's two. This one will be three. Lots of uh, pollen on here. I'm looking for another queen just in case. Tons of bees in here. We need to get moving. It's getting late. So here's one right here. Here's the one we want, number four. So high four, or frame four has got our swarm cells there. So I'm assuming this Apame hive, the way it's set up, is tall enough to... Uh, oh man, there's cells clear up on here. That it's tall enough that these cells won't get squished. We'll try it out and see. 
Yes, it is. So now I want to get another frame or two and shake some bees in there. If our original queen is still in this hive, she's probably there in the bottom and preparing to swarm. So I'm going to shake these. Actually, I'm just going to put this in the other side because we've got queen cells right here. Well, there's one. We're going to go with one. So maybe I can just, uh, just keep moving these frames on over there and not have to do a shake. But I want to leave a few swarm cells still in the main hive. This one has two swarm cells. I'm looking for virgin queens is what I'm doing here. Okay, drop that in here. A lot of swarm cells on this, so I really don't want it. I'm gonna leave this one. I'm gonna take all these bees off of it. Just give it a gentle shake. Got quite a few. You don't wanna shake those queen cells very hard. Here's a brood frame with no swarm cells. Well, there's one right there on the side. I'll drop that in here. So that side's got a lot of bees just from the frames. Get this on, covered on that. Make sure this feeder set right. Yeah, it's set for syrup. I'm gonna get two frames in here. So, <clears throat> I think this one we wanted to leave, or wanted, I know this one has swarm cells on it. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it. That other side needs two more frames. I'd like to get a good brood frame. See if I can find one in here. Let's see what this frame here was. I need to keep an eye out for that original queen too if I'm going down here. A lot of drones. Still we're at all nectar. We're not on any brood yet. Pollen, pollen, no queen. Here's that cell that's stuck on the bottom. Here's a little bit of brood. And we got a queen cell right there. Yeah, there's that queen cell. So we got larva. So she's laid this up last or later than that in the top. I'm gonna try and preserve that cell right there. It's still good. Just have to be careful when we slide these back together. I'm hoping this one here's a good brood frame. Yeah. Wanna take this one, put in there. Make sure that queen ain't on here. Lots of, lots of cat brood on here. See all the cat brood. There's some open cells here. She may have already backfilled in there. I don't know, but uh, I'm not seeing her on this frame. We'll go ahead and uh, check these next few frames and see if we spot her. If we do, I'll grab that frame and isolate it and move her off and into a new box and she'll feel like she's swarmed. Okay. There's two good splits. So we'll get food on these so they don't have to worry about foraging. Keep them locked down a couple days. So that any uh, bees that want to go 
back to their home hive, they won't be able to. And they'll get acclimated to this. And I'm going to take this around the corner to where I do all my nukes and uh, get it set up. So this top's ventilated. It'll be okay that they're locked in. And it's not super hot yet anyways. The bottom's ventilated as well. All right, now we got to put this all back together. <laughs> so since I took that frame, I'm going to replace it with one. A lot of bees in here. Well, I was going to look for that queen. I forgot. There's so many bees in here. It'll be lucky. I was super lucky I saw that virgin queen run across that frame. Man, there's queen cells down here on this. On the bottom. This hive just exploded. Yeah, the fact I saved that virgin queen, that don't make no difference at all. In fact, I could pull a split with her and then put her in there if I wanted. So here's where that uh, cell is right there I want to try and preserve. So I'm going to get these frames together. Nice and easy. Yeah. I don't think that swarm came out of this hive. There's too many bees in here. This is the kind of hive it's good uh, if you, you're not worried about honey. Just split it like three ways. I see another virgin queen on this uh, frame right here, running down, the, running down it with her track shoes. I'll just leave her alone. That thing is covered with swarm cells on the bottom of it. Good grief. I don't see where she went. It's probably down here on this bottom part. Oh, there she is. Right there. Right there. Man, I'm tempted to take this. I need another box. Sheesh. I just moved her to hive one. <laughs> Where I was going to put that swarm. So I'll put the swarm somewhere else now. Here's a good brood frame I'll take over there. Gosh, I want to find that queen. The main queen. There's another cell on this. Ah. I'm going to have to run down some more frames now. A lot of drones on there. I don't want to take this. So when that queen is fixing a swarm, she's not going to be we're in her normal location. So you do need to look on these outside frames pretty good. Don't see her. Don't see her down there. I do need a couple more frames though out of here. Ouch. That wasn't very nice. Ah, get off of there. Ow. Dang it. They've gone crazy. Guardian bee suit. It's doing its job. These gloves, not so much. Yeah, here's a good brood frame. I'm going to grab that. And that nuke will be done over there. Gosh, I really want to find that queen. Oh, well. Okay, we got to go get more frames. Actually, I got some here. I'll just, these are the ones I was going to put in the top. I'll just use them here for now. Oh, let's see, I wanted to keep those two together. Do this. We're going to release this girl right here. There she goes down. She was a nice looking virgin queen. Surely that wasn't the original one. <laughs> okay. Man. These bees are everywhere and pissed off. All right. I got to get uh, two, four. I got to get six more frames. Four more frames. 
Okay, we are back. Got some frames I had up in the barn that were just starting to get the wax moths to them. So, good timing for that. They will clean that right up, especially a strong hive like this one. There's a yucky one. That's a dirt rooster special right there. This one don't look too bad. Keep them tight. If you don't keep them tight, they'll put propolis all between them and then they're hard to work with. Okay, excluder. This was one strong hive, man. So yeah, we need to reduce this down to uh, one super. Because half their workforce just got taken away. And half their potential workforce as well. Okay. Wow. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> we got the uh, double nuke set up in the Apame hive. And uh, I'm excited about this. So one thing about this plastic, it's very well insulated. And uh, you can go smaller, like three frames on a nuke. And when there's six in here together, they kind of share that warmth. So really it's like six frames, but uh, it's two three frame splits which I never do that. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to see how this works out. I put it down here on the end, so when I break it apart, I can put two hives right here together and I don't have to move one and uh, the bees will be all confused about where their home is. So this will work out this way because I got room to expand here. I do have, I think one more vacant down that way, but uh, We'll just have to deal with that. But I do have one more Apame hive and I got a lot of big hives I have not gone through to uh, check. So if that, you know, if I got one that's full of sweat, swarm cells like that, there's many more. So that is it for this Apame. I'm excited. Woo wee, man. That turned out to be a thing. I was just gonna look for swarm cells. Found some. Then we got our two splits made here, and I got greedy. I kept seeing more cells, more little queens running around, so we made a split over there in position number one. There's three strong brood frames over there with that virgin queen, and there's a swarm cell or two in there. So that's good. It needs a couple more frames in it. <coughs> so it's up to five. And uh, that'll be good. I locked it down with the uh, uh, screen, the robber screen, so those bees can't get in or out of there for a couple days. Ah, ah, that smoke's getting to me. Okay, we got to get that swarm now and get it set. So that's the end of this video. So give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And be sure and check back and see how all this craziness worked out. <laughs> We'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.